Dreams do come true. So kids, what's your dream? Because I too had a dream. Some days I dreamt of becoming a tennis player and some days a cricketer. To make their dreams real tomorrow, you need financial planning today. Choose from a range of child plans from AJS Federal Life Insurance and help your child dream back. of backstage with Borea with somebody who I have seen, you know, my sports writing career has almost followed uh, Sharad's career as a player and then he's evolved into one of our best ever. And in 2022, he perhaps had one of his best years. I was there covering him for the Commonwealth Games and he made us all proud with the four uh, medal winning performances. Incredible year, incredible year. And, and he's defied all the laws of science. At this age, we keep talking about age, look at Sharad. So look at the inspiration, the passion that he still brings to the table. Shahad, what keeps you going? That's, I mean, 20 years is a long time as a sports person. What keeps you going? I think um, uh, the most important fact of being able to be fit, both physically and mentally, and getting into the tournaments, looking uh, to handle, to take on that pressure, is, is what makes it really, you know, feels like okay i want i want to go ahead and do this also so uh it's it's this is something which you know a lot of people have asked me how do you how do you keep doing it time and again so over nearly it's been 16 years since i won that single score and now after 16 long years i i get that back so it's it's very much uh, like the last four uh, six to seven years i've I always made like short term goals to every two years so luckily uh, in the situation where we are we have the olympic games and then following in the next two years we have the Commonwealth games and the asian games so 2016 when uh, we finished rio we're thinking okay next let's plan only for 2018 i was not looking beyond 2018 i was not looking for tokyo not looking beyond that so because when i look at two years from now i feel like yes very much doable if i'm looking at four years from now Oh wow! I need to I need to you know keep keep this kind of a training regime and uh, work work towards that. So that's going to be uh, really tough to keep myself motivated for such a long period of time. So we when we start breaking it down into you know smaller goals, then it's really easy for me to keep pushing myself. And uh, I think the way 2021 the Tokyo Olympics had gone, I thought okay, the, my best head has come, you know. But then 2022 is like uh, a fairy tale, which which I hope never ends at all. So, so it's I, one I of the was, best I years. I was coming to that. I mean, if I look back to Birmingham, day in, day out, you were delivering. Your team event delivering, individually delivering. And that is the most surprising part of it all, that you keep at a stretch and you deliver for the country for a good two-week period, almost at the top of your game every single day, beating top players, Pitchford, for example, in front of a home crowd. Talk, just look back once, look back once to that particular tournament. I mean, I mean, and talk to me about that fairy tale. It's always great fun to talk about fairy tales. Played 15 matches on five days. And there were two days when I played six matches on each day. And so, uh, it was like, um, so it will be uh, the schedule was divided into morning half and the afternoon uh, evening session. So uh, morning session and the evening session. So morning session had men's singles, men's doubles, mixed doubles, one match of each. And the evening would also have the same. So many times I would finish my first match 
leave my bag my racket everything at the table go back to the umpire's area walk back in for the presentation and then i would finish the second match again get back there so i my bag was packed with uh, you know uh, food and drinks so that i never get depleted of energy through the whole process so everything was very well planned so my preparation for the counter game started 9 months ago after tokyo olympic games got over i had a 3 month uh, period cooling cooling off period and from november basically diwali post diwali 2021 i started my preparation and i knew this is how my schedule is going to be the, and thanks to the experience that i've had over the years so i understood this is how it's going to be so in the morning sessions i already try to cramp in three sessions from 6 o'clock in the morning to 12 so i go for a jog then i go to the training session for 2 hours take uh, take a short break eat breakfast and then head directly to the gym before i get back home and then i get back home i rest until 2 o'clock then the kids are back home uh, at 2 uh, from 2 yeah son son goes to school he comes back at 2 daughter comes back at 3:30 spend some time around with them then again head back to the gym or get into a session of table tennis so this was the routine for nearly 6 6 months at least where wow. i said okay every session especially when i'm going back to back i should still feel fresh the moment i start the next next session so recovery was very very important nutrition was very very important uh, the kind of workload that i put into every session was calculated to you know uh, it, uh, we we made sure that if if i did something uh, extra on the ground at 6 o'clock in the morning then maybe a little bit lesser load on in terms of the skill wise you know take take little bit easier exercises easier drills and then get back to the gym or if if anywhere it was like a jigsaw puzzle okay i am doing this too much okay get this lesser get those things together so that you know i don't get injured i don't get uh, bored of the of the routine because that's one thing what i what i uh, what i feel as as i'm getting older to get back there and keep doing the same thing over and over again over so many years yeah so for me to get back into table tennis and say okay now i want to work on my back end okay yes that's been that's what i've been working on for so many years so how can i find new motivations in me so have smaller targets have have look at look at okay this week this is what i'm looking at this, the next week this is what i'm looking at so it's a complete team effort with my coach physical coach mental coach and the nutritionist put together you, you mentioned mental coach and nutritionist i mean things which don't uh, really sort of get the attention that they deserve in india yes. talk to me a little bit about guys so talk to me a little bit about mental conditioning and mental health most importantly i mean we we now mention mental health but we still don't really give that importance to mental health in india right so talk to me about the importance of sports science and talk to me about the importance of mental health please so um see uh, having a coach and a physical uh, fitness coach has become mandatory and i think every athlete every athlete is able to uh, find somebody who is able to help them in in the right direction but mental coach mental conditioning and nutrition is it becomes very very specific you know it's it's very very individualistic so let's say for me for my body i have figured out that uh, better than whey protein egg whites react better to my body so uh, so both are both are intakes of protein only so basically after training i need to take some amount of protein so that my my muscles don't don't uh, lose their you know their uh, their capabilities i need to build up on that so if i take a whey protein which is you know bottled and everything is very easy to just transform or eat egg whites and i have figured out that my body especially after my strength and conditioning session reacts well it, it it is in a better shape in the for the next session when i have egg whites so these are some things which go very very specific and the nutritionist and the mental coach have to work you know in in very specific directions with the fitness coach and the table tennis coach of course there are things what i like to play there are things what i don't like to play uh, i need to work on some certain aspects but it's 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 a little bit more general because i still need to serve i need to play my back end i need to play my forehand so 
so there that way it uh, you know it becomes very very specific and goal oriented and there the mental conditioning so um, you know i'm a senior player so when i get into a court there's a lot of expectation out of out of me so how do i handle that expectation how do i put myself on an equal platform with a player who's way younger to me and for him it's always he's on a uh, uh, let's say uh, a, a situation where if he wins he's beating sharad kamal if he loses yeah okay he lost to sharad kamal you know so in both the places i'm i'm on a very higher thing so how do i handle that pressure how do i handle those expectations and still get my best out there and that is a daily process it doesn't happen just in a match how do i get myself to focus on what has to be done right now rather than what i should have done one point ago or what i will be doing two points later i have to be thinking about what has to be done now am i moving away from the goal is my mind drifting out if it's drifting out how do i get that back you know all this is daily practice is through sessions that take you through your physical practice your men, uh, your table tennis practice in all these aspects the mental conditioning is going on and on and there is no break for the mental figure mental conditioning physical conditioning and table tennis there is a break i know okay now i switch off i go but mental conditioning is something which when i when i'm meeting i'm thinking about my game okay even then i need to keep telling myself yes this was what was happening and this is what will happen so i need to keep myself through the whole process in this mental state so those are the you know uh, nitty gritties which a high level athlete requires in terms of mental conditioning and nutrition fascinating because i mean the more you read i mean western western athletes in the past i mean now it's coming to india good that you highlighted it if i move away from you the person to 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 the whole uh, you know the overall sort of scenario of indian table tennis we've had great results from satyam from manika the asian cup we've had great team results the both men and women doing well in the world championship so is it the best era i mean for example if i speak to shrija she will talk to me about how you partnered and mentored her when i talk to manika and satyam raman for example tells me that uh, that yes they have a great chance in paris so we are actually starting to think that we can win medals at the international level at the highest places is it the best that you have seen and and how how are you looking at 23 and 24 you know this all started in 2018 when uh, you know uh, when the counter games in 2018 we did very well we had eight medals highest by by any stretch uh, in terms of counter games and manika's performance there you know single gold team gold <coughs> and the men's team gold uh so all of us had done fantastically well following that was the asian games where first time in 62 years we got a medal you know and we got in fact two medals in men's team and mixed doubles so that catapulted us into a, a, a let's say an a, an arena where we world beaters people were thinking that we are uh, people had the clear confidence that we are world beaters and at the same time the competitors the top level players in the world started to take notice of you know the way we were playing the way we were uh, defeating so many top uh, uh, players top rank players so it all started off in 2018 and from there on things have been slowly having an up- upward curve you know it, it uh, we've been doing really well tokyo went on very well you know prior to tokyo also 2019 was also a good year with especially the juniors <coughs> manav takkar and archana kamath manav takkar being world number 1 archana kamath uh, uh, in the uh, she finished fourth in the youth olympic games so uh, i think these uh, there we were slowly steadily climbing up but as far as the complete team is concerned and the kind of performance we are doing at the international level i think 2022 has been has been clearly the best uh, until now you know counter games uh, i did well then as you said manika did uh, like remarkably well at the asian asian cup in november where she beat three top 20 players or even yeah. three top 10 players, 10 players yeah uh, uh, that that was really good and satyan has been doing well shrija has been doing well arsen has been doing fine 
Preet. Uh, so there are a lot of players now who are doing fantastically well. Now, I think from here, from the situation where we are now, we can have an outside the box chance to get an Olympic medal in terms of the team event. Of course, individual events, uh, singles would be still a, a long way to go because you know you need uh, you need to win six to seven matches to get into a medal round. But team and mixed doubles is a place where you start off with last 16. Correct. So qualification is a tougher process than the Olympic Games itself. So we are standing at a very good situation now, and from here on we'll have to you know it's just one year to the qualification process into Paris Olympic Games, and uh, all of us are quite high on confidence at the moment. So that was the that was the penultimate question. You said two years. So if I take twenty three and twenty four, how are you looking at twenty three and twenty four? Asian Games and Olympic Games. Asian Games, yeah. Uh, so uh, actually, twenty twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. One major event every year. That's very easy to very easy to you know prepare, plan, and perform. If earlier wise, you know, you have the Olympics. And then two years break, and then the Commonwealth Games, Asian Games coming together, two major events coming together within a span of six months. It's very difficult to peak, you know, peak here and then continue to peak there. So that way, now uh, with the global situation with the pandemic and everything, as sports persons, we are in a good situation where every year I know, okay, if I can take this six to eight months for preparation for this major. Uh, tournament. Let's say the Asian Games coming up in September. I already started my preparation uh, from now, from in, in the month of December. I started my preparation, so I have a fair chance, you know, to get into the Asian Championships, uh, Asian Games, and at the same time the Olympic qualifiers, which will be coming in Jan, early early 2024. You know, that will run into the preparation will help me run into that uh, qualification process, and then from there on, I have another six months. To prepare for the uh, Paris Olympic Games, no. So I we are very well placed in terms of the planning is concerned, in terms of you know the ability to peak uh, at the right moment. And if we are following the trend, and if we are able to go together again, it's not just me who who is individually trying to do, but as a team, if we all of us are going to go together. We will be in a very strong position by 2020. Excellent. And and my last question, you said obviously that Mahlong match, which I was witness to in Tokyo, I thought that was your best. Now, if I go to the Birmingham CWG, I will say that was your best. Yes. Have we seen the best of Sharad Kamal? I don't <laughs> think so. 23 and 24, we still have to see your best. Thoughts on that and we'll close. Yes, I, I hope, I really hope 2024 is the best uh, that can that can come up. And uh, really working towards that, and uh, there's until now there's there's one medal that is not that is missing from my kitty, which is the Olympic medal. I have the Commonwealth Games, I have the Asian Games, I have uh, Pro Tour titles, I have I have everything there. The name, the only thing that is missing is the Olympic Games medal, and I really hope, and with all you guys supporting us, cheering us, I think we will have the biggest go at it in 2024. I'll end there. I'll end there. Can't be a better, better finish. I mean, one thing is for certain. The interest in the sport in the country has become far, far greater. Yes. We are all seeing that. I mean, some of us have been followed, following Olympic sport, covering Olympic sport for a long time. We now see the number of people covering Olympic sport. We see the number of people watching, consuming, social media. All of India will be with you, Sharad. All yes. of India Thank will you. be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Each one of us. From our hearts, we will be with you, writing, talking. Yes, we will put pressure, get us medals and all that. But that's our job. That's our job. You you made it into a habit, so you better deliver now. Having said that, terrific. I mean, pleasure to talk to you. You've been an absolute icon for Indian sport, a torchbearer. You've inspired many. Keep doing so for the next couple of years. We'll all be with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Now you can watch all our content on the Rev Sports app. Please download the app. All the instructions are given and consume all sports, multi sports content on the Rev Sports app. Also, you can download and use our other platforms. You can subscribe to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, Twitter for the best of sports coverage from all over the world. So the app or all of the other social media platforms for consumption of Rev Sports sports coverage. Keep watching.